I'm going to say 150 Sudbury. That was probably one of the worst. 150, 170 Sudbury. No offense to anybody living in these buildings, by the way. So... <laughs> All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? So today we got something really exciting. It's going to be the best and worst condos in Toronto. We're going to go around the table. Everybody's going to give your best pick and your worst pick. So uh, let's kick it off. Okay. So I'm going to start off with the best condos. And for, in my opinion, the best condos have to be the city place condos. Now, <laughs> I know why you're smirking, but the reasons why I like it so much is because of the, the community that's there, right? Yeah, come on, I've met so many people that's like my age already. And as well as you got you got parks nearby or a park nearby. You got uh, a lot of entertainment, grocery stores, everything is so close to everybody, right? And every building has an amenity too, which yeah. is nice. a big, good amenities. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so some, for some people it might be the best, for some people it might be the worst, but you're saying it's the best for your demographic. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect for my age right now, right? Just how you like those hamburger wrappers thrown in the elevators and beer bottles <laughs> thrown off the balcony. How you like those? <laughs> okay, no, these are the, let's talk about the best ones. So everybody, let's go through the best condo. All right, that's good. So City Place, Michael. Yeah. Uh, my favorite uh, condo is probably the ones at 90 Sumac. It suits my person. CBC. CBC building. Old um, CBC lofts. The old uh, warehouse, I think it was. Um, yeah, honestly, the uh, first time I showed it was probably when I first started in real estate and just kind of gave me the impression that lofts, hard lofts are the way to go. Polished concrete, you know, floor to ceiling windows, not uh, like whole pieces, but like sectioned up. It's got nice, uh, nice light in it. 18 foot ceilings, yeah. something like that, nice 18, 20 foot ceilings. Yeah, and even like the narrow units that are like the one plus one con configurations, even then it's, it's, it's bright and feels spacious. So my favorite. But there's no outdoor space in all of them, right? There is a rooftop terrace. All right. That's okay. Okay. For some of them. Oh, no. Some of them have outdoor spaces. I yeah. should say that. Some of them have balconies. Yeah. Some should... of them have private terraces. Okay. Well, you guys are going to know mine. It's obviously 33 mil, right? <laughs> <laughs> Lived and worked there for so long, you know, and I stopped my unit there and I like it. Distillery district's awesome. It's just a little bit busy sometimes as a, you know, if you're there as a resident and there's tourists in your backyard and stuff. But I like it. It's got a really cool pool deck. Um, it's established long enough, so the maintenance fees are kind of relatively fixed. They were good because I was president there for like how many years now? Seven years. So we kept the maintenance fees low on purpose, and um, for an old building, I think it's pretty good. But you know, what, what? What? But what do you think about like with everything that's being built around it? Does that change your vote at all? Because <sighs> it, it, it might be an eyesore like, for five years or so, whatever it is. But uh, I gotta say it's congested. It? Yeah, I gotta say it's super congested. And um, you know, there's a new subway station coming up around the area around there. So for the Corktown, uh, Corktown line or the Ontario line, I think it's called. Ontario really fun. Yeah. So I think there's upside, but yeah. you're right. It's super dense. It I might be a lot to deal with. For but you're in city place, man. Whatever. That's yeah. dense as hell. <laughs> what are you talking about? And it's different than Liberty Village. It's a little bit uh, distillery. Distillery. Yeah, distillery. Yeah, but I'm saying it's different than the Liberty Village. It's, it's got less density, and then you know. For sure. It's different. For sure. So okay. Kevin, what's your favorite? I have to be like you. I kind of like my own building that I've lived in for a long time. It's very centrally located. Uh, it's got everything around there. There's some parks. Uh, you have Rosedale Station, Bloor Station, um, Rosedale Valley Road to the Bayview Extension South. You can get around the city very easily. Uh, very, uh, very well run building. Um, reserve funds and so on. I highly recommend that building. Um, and you're close to Yorkville, which is And I'm nice. close to Yorkville. The only thing is they don't have balconies, just a few units only. And f for that reason, uh, for, for another reason is uh, the pets. I like to have dogs. So for that reason, my second choice would be, um, I like- for, Well, one choice. One choice, one, one choice. choice. Oh, one, your top. Right, right, that's your top? To, so you're that's saying you don't top. like it? You like it because they don't allow pets? No, 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 I like it. I, sorry, no. They don't allow pets? No, the only thing that I don't like it for is they don't allow pets. Okay. And I would like, and if they could be balconies. And also it's old ass building. It's, it's old, but it's, it's very well, no, but it's very, no, it's very well maintained. And you know what? Price is actually still reasonable in a weird okay. way there. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the trade-off, right? An older yeah. building gets you, uh, um, it's not so old. It's cheaper. Maybe the carpets. Uh, Suffocate, no old. air, no balcony. <laughs> maybe, maybe more than that, 91. Yeah. The brass. Um, yeah, they, I've been fighting them on that, but. <laughs> <laughs> We got a marble, new brass. stained marble. Yeah. All right, Kayla, what's your favorite? Um, my favorite is 10 York Street. It's um, built by Tridel, so you know it's a good builder. Um, but also the location is amazing because you're right next to the harbor front and transit, all the attractions. So 
waterfront, yeah. But it's like twenty dollars to park there, just to go there and visit your friends. It's yeah, kind of annoying. It's an expensive area. But yeah. It's nice, and it's a smart building too. So there's okay. lots of technology built into it. You get keyless entry into your city. You have license plate recognition when you go underground. That's cool. I didn't know that. There's balconies. What are you talking about? No, West is the triangle part. There's balconies. They have those little, like. Yeah, yeah. It's only the triangle. It's like basic West. No, it's usually the Yeah. And North and South, do they? Or do they not? I don't remember. South. I don't think so. South does not actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, South is the two better units that they do not have. Problems. Well, you get the waterfront view, so that's nice. Yeah. Wait, so is there no visitor parking? So you have to pay $20 yeah, yeah, or something? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Good thing I don't have friends. Ah. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, okay, first of all, it's twenty dollars on a regular day, and then there's an event day, and then it's like fifty bucks or something. Right? It's crazy. Like Thirty bucks, forty. So you get Uber or yeah, take the transit. A subway. <laughs> Downtown friends only. Butter, what's your favorite? My favorite, I would say, my own building. Yeah, oh, so come on. <laughs> <laughs> you live right over there. I live right there. <laughs> no, I, like, I, like, I like the community, the area. You know, just like how it, uh, so Which building, first of all? Tell everybody which building it is. Uh, 20 Covenant. Right in Regent Park. Right here. Right there, don't you? It's by Regent Park. Um, I just like the, the, the neighborhood, it's really nice. Um, it's, it's like you got to work out also there's a basketball court, and the community is pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. And it's changed a lot, too. It's no longer like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have to like dodge for both. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's nice. It's changed a lot, and like they have this on the um, some weekends they have like a community thing. They do like a pot run. Front. Really? It's like, pretty cool. Yeah, from different like ethnicity. It's I'm cool. coming. It's, it's just over there, right? Yeah, it's right I'm coming over. <laughs> okay, so we got City Place, 90 Broadview, 33 Miller Distillery, 942 Young in Yorkville ish, 10 York in the Financial Core, and 20 Tubman in uh, Regent Park, right? Nice sumac, sorry. You guys, you guys had like yes. specific buildings. I just put like city place. Well, I mean, they're all the same. Yeah. If you <laughs> like, all the city place, oh, pretty much the same. Like, at least like, at least like Spectra. So like 75, 85 Queens Wharf, at least the east views, they're, they're facing the city, not obstructed. It's okay. No, I guess yeah, there is minor differences mm -hmm. between the two, just because of the age yeah. of the buildings, right? Yeah. So the yeah. technology has changed just a little bit, mm -hmm. but they're pretty much the same. Oh, yeah, that's why it's city place. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Man, management could be better. Siobhan, what's your favorite? <laughs> 85 Queens Wharf, because he's in that demographic and he likes that area. And so. he's looking for an 07 layout. It's so if anybody cool. has one, has to be a corner unit. If anybody has a one bedroom corner unit in 85, 75, 65, Queens 85? Wharf, 85 only. Yeah. Told you, that's east that's facing. It. Give us north a show. East. Or yeah. North, yeah, north yeah. east facing. Yeah. All right, let's go to the worst. Let's go to the ah, worst. the Neil. worst buildings. There's a lot of bad ones. I'm gonna say City Place. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> See, it's, that's it's the love so hate. Funny. But that's the love hate that you guys said, right? Throughout, throughout it. So, I mean, oh, uh, for for one, right? It's just the B and Bs. They're not they're not great Airbnb. over there. Um, so there's so there's so many. It's, it's I guess it's a little over congested. They keep they're building another one or a couple new ones. At uh, in City Place, they didn't crack down on that in the building then. Um, I, think I actually don't know. I think they're uh, suspended right now. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, legally, that's not good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But security's already got enough on their plate, right? So they're probably it's hard for them to catch every single one. Yeah, yeah. Just bottles being thrown down balconies. <laughs> Same, so his chairs, is not, it's not the best. I wasn't saying, it was the same place. Yeah, was. Uh, chairs? Chairs? <laughs> uh, Grand Magazine, was it? No. I don't know. Anyway, all right. <laughs> yeah, so just that, management issues, build no. issues. Builds are ne never great. They're, uh, they're also really small. They're newer buildings, I guess, or some of them. So um, the overall build for them is, is not my favorite. But uh, the community, guys, the community. Think about the community. It's the best part. <laughs> there you go. All right, Michael, what's yours? Uh, least favorite. I mean, we, we can talk about build quality all the time, but one that sticks out to me is bad design. Uh, my least favorite is 38 Dan Lucky, which is in City Place. And I hate it because if I'm going into a condo, I want to go home and I don't want to walk into a Benihana restaurant. 
I don't get why there's a vent right in the middle of the unit. <laughs> like, why, why is that there? <laughs> you have to, you have to pull up a picture of the of the exhaust vent. The vent. It's, it's so That's bad. Really it looks like the building. It's just a cylinder. Yeah. It's like, why is that there? Like, how much are you planning on cooking that it's gonna stink up the center of your unit? Like, just move that stuff to the side, make it nice and open, and that's, call it a day. It's a yeah, weird layout, I think it, it, It's weird. It sticks in my mind all the time. But, yeah, that's my worst. I'm gonna say 150 Sudbury. That was probably one of the worst. 150, 170 Sudbury. No offense to anybody living in these buildings, by the way. So, 36 Lisgar, all that kind of stuff, all that area, ugh. Um, I remember selling 150 Sudbury. It's one of my first ones. They had it, they, they sold it as a concrete, like, you know, it was cool, like an open loft kind of thing, a hard loft, whatever, concrete, exposed ducts and all that. But when we came to real life, when you actually buy them, you buy a 600 square foot unit, like in the showroom, it's like 1200 square foot, obviously. So it looks, it looks nice when it's a big scale. But when you cr uh, crank it down to a small unit, it's like unfinished. It's all concrete everywhere. There's like exposed pipes where if somebody flushes the toilet from above and they're just dropping a deuce, you hear it. Yeah. <laughs> just going yeah. down the, the yeah. thing. It's and disgusting. It's, it's, it's trickling it's down. Dark. It's dark, because yeah, yeah. 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 It's depressing. Wow. It's no really concierge depressing. too. That's right. So yeah. and the pool is in the basement. Yeah. You know, which is ridiculous. So I think some of the unit owners have eventually changed them up and they put hardware floors in, in there. So <laughs> a little bit better, but uh, that's my worst. For, no, for a pool? Yeah, pretty no, much, no right? Yeah. The pool's actually pretty nice. It's yeah. just that it's underground, which doesn't, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> then. So, the, 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 the exposed pipes is the worst. Yeah. You have to show me pictures. I don't think it's I've so seen weird, 150, yeah. 170 Sudbury enough. It's because you don't sell it there. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Anyway, come on. Well, my most or least favorite, I don't want to beat up on uh, the ice buildings, the ice boat, or whatever they call them, 12 and 14, 14 York. 14, 14, yeah, 12, 14 York. I've just heard too many bad things about it. And I'm not a big fan of these giant towers anyways, and too much. Well, it's because they allow short-term rentals and they have yeah. like a short-term rental on site. Too. It just attracted a lot of, um, what do you call it? You know, crime type thing, you know, partiers coming just for a couple nights to rent and drugs, prostitution and so on and so forth. Back in the days, I don't know if they fixed the problem now, but. Still there. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> you would know. <laughs> what were you last? No. Uh, <laughs> no, but yeah. Really I, but there. yeah, I mean, uh, the, what I've heard, of, uh, I've had a couple tenants there and elevator problems, water shutdown problems is basically kind of the things you should concern yourself about. Maybe. That's a challenge with like properties yeah. that are really heavily invested, like buildings that are heavily invested, uh, you know, in subway lines and things like that, because yeah. there's no real owner representation to help look after the building for the board of directors. So right. I agree with you there. Yeah. Kayla, what's your worst, least favorite? I was actually going to say ice condos too. I know one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, choose another one. Um, Mills Building. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I think it's because I complain about it every like day. But he complains about it like every day. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some new maintenance issues with it. Um, but it could be because they're new. Yeah, they're working out the kinks. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, is that why you didn't take the leads for ice condos? Are you giving them like that? <laughs> that makes sense. No wonder why. Okay. Well, because I just had a tenant that was just coming out of there you know, that I had parked there a year ago. He came from um, Asia and he was like, I gotta get out of there. Nice. And that's why I was like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just, I've heard too many bad things and yeah, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Man, you know my condo pet peeve, like these, the, the giant condos that you're talking about with, with uh, I don't know. 60 stories. Floors. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. The, the elevators, although like fast and might not be a problem to some people, I just, my pet peeve is like, when I'm in an elevator with someone else and they get off before me. Ooh, when we line up for the elevators, we all go in at the same time. I press like 30, right? And then somebody else presses two. eight, two. <laughs> yeah. I go like, two stairs, oh, damn it. Just take the stairs. <laughs> Even if they pick like 29 or something, like one yeah. floor below me, I get so mad. Try a building that's got so 12 mad. stories only and yeah. they, come, they go to, from G to two. Yeah. Basically, it's like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, Kayla, what's your worst, least favorite? Uh, 19 bathrooms. Ooh, okay. Okay. Why are you hating? Okay. Because <laughs> it's still new or what? Because it's still going through. What do you mean? There's lava There's yeah. lava There's lava There's lava location. <laughs> it's just, yeah, the build is not there, maintenance issues. They're still working on the kinks, so. 
Okay. I agree. I Otter, what's your least favorite? I would say the... Um, 388, 380, no? Yeah. Yeah. yeah 386, yeah. 386. Yeah. Because... It's just, I don't know, it's just something. Like, it's very difficult to get to, to uh, let's say, showings or like... Yeah. Just the way how the list, like, how it's... Like, well, maybe because of COVID, I don't know, but every time I go there, it's always an issue. Right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like, I had clients that's there, but... It's one of the tallest towers in the in the yeah. in Toronto, right? So there's yeah. always gonna be elevator problems for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you're if you're if you go to U of T, I mean, it's a great. Or if you yeah, work for investment, it's awesome. It's like similar to uh, the Icon. But they don't allow short-term rentals, so yeah. Yeah. It's, at least that's a good thing. Yeah. And the Aura Building has that like roundabout, or I forgot what that area. What, what oh, the skating looks right? like. There's skating right outside. Oh. Cool. And there's IKEA too. Yeah, the new IKEA coming up. Yeah, that's awesome. Wait, there's an IKEA. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah the kind of IKEA downtown being built uh, at the end. Oh, it's of the year. not it's here. Supposed yet. To be, yeah, it's not here yeah, yet. Oh, okay. They're yeah, they're so fixing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We did have a client actually look at the uh, the sub penthouse units uh, that are north facing, the three bedroom units, and they're actually pretty awesome. You've got like a gas fireplace in in each of the bedrooms and in the living room, uh, gas stove top, and you had um, you pretty much had an entire quarter of that round top upstairs. It's, it was nice. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. Do you have one, Siobhan? Worst? Yeah. Least favorite that you've seen? Uh, 33 mil. Oh. You <laughs> 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 went there for one showing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the one that we saw at uh, 281 Jarvis. Jarvis? Yeah. Jarvis and Dundas. The one where uh, you and I got separated and uh, I got yelled at by the concierge because I was trying to get the key and then get back to you. 251 Jarvis. Yeah. Especially the way where you get inside on it and it stinks. The parking lot smells like shit. Yeah. Like Narrow hallways. That's the one on the northeast, right? Uh, northwest, uh, northeast, yeah, northeast, yeah, corner, northeast yeah. corner. They don't have, uh, the, some of the layouts aren't that bad. It's just kind of I sketchy. The layouts are yeah, the layouts are not bad. Yeah. 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 Well, it traditionally was a little bit uh, more sketchy area, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's, it's still close to Ryerson and, and UT and all that in downtown. Yeah. So yeah. people like that building. So. Easy to walk to Eaton Center too, yeah. which is pretty really awesome. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, best and worst condos of Toronto in 2021. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Cool. Add it up.